Yeah, blessings my people, you don't know say my views TV, I saw so with the blessed ones Right about now, blessed ones, we just want to big up the whole of the new blessed ones, them that subscribe Welcome to the family, and big up the whole of the blessed ones, them that already subscribed, part of the family And help make this thing happen, you don't know the thing, go, big up your damn self And big up the whole of the blessed ones, them that link up on the Instagram, you don't know the thing, go, big up on your damn self Yeah, anyway, right about now, blessed ones, Mr. Darren because me see, me see, me see a few videos, and as you see, me really, me they gonna make a video about um, me think that you should do your gym thing, like you know, train people in you know, the gym and and whatnot. Can me see you do your exercise and your fitness thing? You see, me think that is something that you should carry on on a level, and then could I even go on and to get your own gym of it? You know what I mean? Because that are the right line for you, fighting criminal thing. Psh, but anyway, that's just that's that just me, yeah. Now, for one of the reasons why I said this, I want you to see that I see you do a thing, I think uh, with Sean or who's whatsoever his name is. Yeah, anyway, him, you do something with him and some argument at gym. And so I said, Jesus Christ, well, let me just keep out, yeah. Let me go make video tell man about go gym. And then after me, after me said that, come, could I make the video then? After me said that, I see you, uh, um. A video which you will argue with people at gym and this and then I your talk and me say me can't you know me can't deal with all of this yeah. but what really interests me you know mr darren me want you to answer i want thing me want you to answer yeah i want you to answer something that you say but wait a minute wait a minute the fact that darren g has actually spoken to the liverpool echo about actually knowing malik Faisal akram who is from the blackburn area and as i said was the man that held people hostage in the synagogue on Saturday. Storm Malik is on its way. Well, it's already here. It's just building up to it. Yeah, so Darren, you say Storm Malik is here. Now you have to understand, yeah? This guy Malik that went to America to do what he went to do, a kill him go kill people. Yeah? And no get regular Muslim mix up with what this man do. This man looked like he had mental health problem. Yeah? So let, let me just leave that aside a minute. Are you we want to talk about? Because it seems that like you have some information that we need to forget. Because you say Star Malik is here. And you claim this guy was your friend. Not the fact you didn't know that he was going to do this. And anyway, leave that a minute. What you mean that Star Malik is here? You know what you basically say is a lot of people out there. Or there's a few more people out there that you know. That's ready to do or already start doing what Malik done. So what happen if Malik never decide to go to America and Malik decide to go blow up some place in the UK and murder people and kill people? Would you be on here talking about L5? What? Save a life, not a night? What the fuck? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Wait there. Hold on. Hold on. Cho so, sorry. Sorry. L5. Choose a life. Choose a life, not a knife. Choose a life, not a knife. That you would have been pan yourself at about choose a life, not a knife. After you tell her we that there's there's um, uh, a storm coming. Hmm? The, the, the Malik storm is here, basically. Uh, uh, you know, you 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 explain what you mean by that. Because here you do a video the other day again. Me not see the live, me see the video. And you call somebody uh, um what when I'm saying when people you not know, like Muslims. Um Muslim ah. Uh, me forgot, you know when somebody you know, like Muslim or speak bad against Muslim and that, they got a name that they call them, yeah? Type it in the comment if you know me, I say. Me here, you call somebody that name the other day, basically saying the person not like Muslim. Brother, what you saying here don't prove that you love Muslim or you like Muslim or the real Muslim that's suffering and going through stuff. What you're telling us here, brother, is like you mad just like this guy here and you know a few more. Oh, me know if you just come out go say it for that. Me, well, this you didn't say this to the news, is it? This is something that you said on your live that video, yeah. When you say Star Malik is here, so for all the people them we talk about terrorism and and the people them that talk about oh I like Darren G the the, the message is choose. Answer this, please. Anyone of you? What does he mean by Star Malik is here? Doesn't this mean that the Star is here? Is more of these attacks to come? Huh? Well, did you tell him to go to America or that was his choice? Because if that was his choice, he made a good decision. He shouldn't go no place at all. Well, good thing you went there and get to kill nobody. But what we said to you now is, is this the message that you're giving out? Because this here, this message that you just, this, this that you just said just now, totally go against what you were saying, bro, about choose a life, not a knife and saving lives or... I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't get your message and this It's other things, anger and shit you're online And that's, uh, we can leave that out Like you can see I don't jump to make videos about that But this I really want to know brother What you mean by Star Malik is here What this got to do with the message that you're pushing Know what I mean? Damn right I know what you mean Of course you mean that you got people out there Who ready for blow up Britain and blow up America And you got some more terrorist friends And you got linked with Al-Qaeda and ISIS And 
Taliban and me, me, no, you no got no link with no regular Muslim. This ain't no regular Muslim, brother. So we, what, what you mean? If me don't rap, me understand what you say. Yes, me understand what you're saying when you say Star Malik is here. But probably me, probably your viewers understand. Morning, sir. How are you? Well, to be honest, me think Sabra would have been alright. Come on the live to see how you're doing until you say Star Malik is here. Because if Sarah thinking or Sarah have some, well, let's say Sarah have some kind of sense. But Sarah know that when you say Star Malik is here, that that mean you got some more people or no some more people like that that ready to go blow up Britain and ready to go blow up anywhere else and go kill people. So just like the thing that happened in Manchester, was it Manche Manchester? Yes, in London there was terror attacks as well. And there's so many terror attacks around the world and the UK, yeah? What you mean by Star Malik is here? You think this is not something that you need to speak about? Or to speak to someone about if you know more people like this? So, could you imagine now that a Muslim came out and said this after that happened in America and said, Star Malik is here now. He would have been a hate preacher. He would have been a terrorist. He support terrorism. And it so what's the difference with this brother? This no make no sense. Why you say no make no sense? But no say no. Let, 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 let we continue a minute. Let we continue a minute. Let, 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 let we continue. And Scarcity, big up your damn self. I should have big you up from the start, you know. Sorry about that. Big up your damn self, Scarcity. And let me get back into that one, yeah, yeah, man. The article says that the former gang member from Liverpool has spoken about his shock and sadness after learning that his friend was shot dead by armed police in Texas. No, Darren. Darren, Mr. G, let me ask you one thing, brother. You know when you call somebody a friend, you call this man a friend. Not an associate, not somebody you meet, you call a man a friend. So, you on the internet and I talk to people and say you want to talk to kids and this and that. Brother, you with somebody that have mental health and you couldn't see nothing wrong with him. You couldn't see nothing wrong with him. This man could have got, like me said, this person could have walked down there in a your local Tesco and just kill off people. He could have gone in a, in a, some old people home. He could have gone... In, in a college, a university, you don't know. But you tell me, you call this man a friend. And then you say you're sudden. You're sudden. Me understand the shock. Because if me hear that one, one of my friends do something like that, me be shock. But if you say sudden, no, brother, no, brother. You twisted something wrong with you. But then again, I just my views, brother. I just my views, my opinion. Simple as. Yeah, just funny to me that you had a terrorist next to you. And you're preaching all of this shit. So just imagine the things you're saying to this guy, brother. Oh, this police against me, the government, oh, all these drug dealers, these pedophiles, these rapists, and la 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 la. All this thing you're telling this guy that got mental health issues already, mad, head no good, sick, he's a terrorist, ready to go kill people. And for once in your life, you could have dismantled this man, you could have broke him up, you could have put out all your anger in him, brother, and save other people's life. But you couldn't even do that, brother. You couldn't even do that. You yeah, tell her that this man was your friend. Anyway, I hope you tell her more how he become your friend. Any, anyway. And Darren G told the Echo in this interview that Akram spent a few months living with him in Liverpool. No, when you say live with you, you mean live with you in the same house or are you living at the same sheer accommodation type thing? Because this is what I say again. What kind of, are you just, you must be just, if he live with you personally for four months and you never know something are going on, yeah, then brother, your head no good neither. This is something wrong, hold on, let me listen. And he said that Malik came into my life in the late summer of 2020. So this would have been around the time that he had an MI5 investigation on him. Now, this is what's crazy, Darren. You out there to the public screaming, choose a life, not a knife. And don't get me wrong, let's say you never knew this guy was a terrorist, but you still haven't come out and speak with no sense. So I, I, would, I would say that you must have known because at the end of the day, well, see my bird even saying yes. At the end of the day, you haven't come out and rectified nothing. But you out here screaming, choose a life, not a knife, and calling out criminals and all of this and all of that. And you realise MI5 was watching him. So you must have get caught up along the way because you was hanging around with a terrorist but you say you're fighting criminals. Huh? Yeah, help me understand, help me understand. You out there saying you're fighting criminals and this and that but MI5 is watching one of your friends because they got them on the terrorist watch list because they're planning, they think they're with some terrorist group. <laughs> what? He said that he arrived on the Grisdale estate and started knocking on doors looking for me. When I heard about this, I thought it was a criminal that was looking to confront me about my past. But when I met him, he only showed me peace and love. 
G went on to explain that Akram had read about him and was aware about his social media presence and also the interviews that he'd done. He said that I would describe Malik as an activist. No, Mr. G, no, not at all. He's not an activist, yeah? He's a terrorist or an extremist or, 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 or any lining down this so. Anybody that decides to go to extreme like that to get their point across must be an extremist. He said Malik knew my family a bit and he knew that we'd been through a lot and all kinds of problems with the system. No, this is the thing again, Darren. How Malik know your family a bit? What do you mean? What you tell him? So all he know the, the system, you, you see me say again, you, the, the system, the government, uh, what, what your family go through with them. Darren, he know what you tell him or what he read in a, your book uh, or what you see interviews him see or you on the internet, yeah? Like... Number one, why would I even hang around with somebody that come knock my door tell me that Hey, I see you on the internet and, and um, oh, I read your book and this and that Yeah, well you read my book, what, like yeah, but well, why are you doing at my door? Why are you knocking, what, huh? Mm -mm. He said in this impromptu interview that Malik had been in trouble with the police before But that he was sympathetic Yeah, so Mr G, what me want to know again What crime have he committed that he was sympathetic with? Let me say, oh, shop, was it shoplifting? Was it, you know, I um, mean, you know, um, it could be any what, 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 what was it? Was he making sweets from the shop? Oh yeah, we could be sympathetic with that You know, you know what, what, what did he commit? Like, but judging off the crime that he got arrested well, what he got murdered or arre one of the, he got killed me thinking get killed not murder. Scar City don't say get that right, don't get it mixed up, yeah? Alright. He get um them them shoot him, them, you know what I mean, them kill him. That that didn't look like some simple crime. So, you know, me know me wanna know which kind of crime you fight against and which kind of crime you allow that Mr. Choose a life, not a knife, end up with terrorist funny team. Me don't understand. Darren G said in the interview with Liverpool Echo that I read about the surveillance he was under and I did wonder. He started to spend time with me on the Grisdale and I have a past and once associated with dangerous people. So I'm not exactly sure why Darren G believes that MI5 will, would be investigating him. He sort of insinuates that in the actual interview. So you see the thing again now? What we see? You actually think that MI5 are watch you when them now watch you. Them have credible, reasonable, or whatsoever the word is to be watching your friend, the people that you choose to associate with. So them now listen to your message, got your message don't make no sense. Them know you had terrorists with you. So them watch the terrorists, not you, okay? Terrorists them watch, not you, all right. That looking back, I suppose there were problems, but Malik was an absolute gentleman. Yeah, so let's be honest now. Well, I, I guess, well, we can't take your judgment no more. We have to... We have to make these judgments for ourselves because you, Malik was an absolute gentleman. Gentleman. He was a gentleman, gentleman, what you want to call it. He was what? We we, we we sure we could see with our own two eyes that Malik wasn't a gentleman. Oh, gentleman. Okay? Hmm. He just seemed to bring the best out in people. Oh, God be Jesus Christ. Brother, give me a break now. What were you up? You, you can't you, stop talk the fuckery them so quick, man. Just give it, give it at least talk two minutes straight and then talk one fuckery because what, 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 what you really mean by that? No, 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 no. You, you tell me bring out the best in who? He bring out the best in. Be Jesus Christ. So, so tell me the rest of the people them that he bring out the best in. Please tell us the rest of the people them that he bring out the best in. We want we to want meet the rest of his friends them. I took Malik to a well-known mosque in the city and I would wait outside for him. He enjoyed the community. Yeah, so again, we just have to be honest. You didn't need to take him to no mosque. Because any mosque he want to go, he could find and he could go. You take him to a mosque and you wait outside. It's not like you got no props in at the mosque where you say, Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, okay, yeah. You come in and say, oh yeah, he's alright, he, yeah. So you, you didn't introduce him to the mosque. Or, you know what I mean? He could have gone there if he wanted, if he never been there before, if he wasn't having his meetings them there. Anyway, 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 leave that out. But yeah, brother, me not get what you are talking about. This still not make no sense to me about you take him to mosque. Anyway. Imagine you taking this guy on these toes with you all around Liverpool or all around these places that you are, Birmingham, everywhere. And this guy, you say he love the community. Oh, he love the community. He love looking at the place thinking, yeah, we might kill them next week. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, my, my, my blow up that Tesco there. Oh, um, uh, you know, you that place they look. How you know what him like or what him love? That's a fucking, you, you drive around the place, but you go and sightseeing and all of this. Why? While you were sightseeing, the guy look hoofy. <laughs> you come and talk about. Darren said that Malik knew that he was under pressure from violent criminals in the North Liverpool area and he said that Malik knew that there were people out to kill me and he was not intimidated. He showed real strength of character by associating with me during that time. 
this is the thing again this is the thing and this is it i'm done but you see he know you go through all of these with all these criminals from North Liverpool or West Liverpool or South Liverpool or West wherever them from and he show strength of character he wasn't scared he was still there so that mean you was happy that you have him to be out there ride with you if anything happens so you know he was kind of mental but he was mental enough if anything happened you know he got your back and this and that well, well, if, if, if gunman after you you're tell, did he walk around with firearm or knives or something no tell me because I want to know how you know he ain't gonna make you how does he make you feel safer you never said he make you feel safe but you said he walk around with you so it don't really matter if they was gonna get you they'll get you and they'll get him in it he's not bulletproof he's not bulletproof so if they was gonna get you they'll still get him so that alone show mental health behavior brother but anyway he was your mate he was your friend and that was it yeah so bless one's big up on a damn self you don't know the thing i haven't been in here really because you don't know me upon the work you see me work like every six days a week you see me so you don't know the thing big up on your damn self scar city big up your damn self and people are go if i ain't done see it already go over to scar city studios and go watch the full him do a um a full thing pan it um more to it a lot more to it than what you see me just talk about here so go over to it and watch it think it's a nice little breakdown yeah and just big up on your damn self yeah man just big up on your damn self you don't know the thing more life more strength